Well, welcome back. Police patrols at schools and classes on lockdown are becoming a common sight in Connecticut. Just this week, officers responded to Vance Elementary School in New Britain with guns drawn after a threatening phone call was made to the main office there. Thank yeah, thankfully, the threat was ruled out. Everyone was physically okay, but experts say scenes like this can have an emotional impact on children. The Fox 61's Bridget Bjorlo joins us now on set after speaking with the child psychiatrist. And so, Bridget, what can parents do if their kids are feeling kind of anxious about going to school right now. Well, for starters, constant communication, open dialogue. That's really key here. Brent and Sarah, there have been at least three dozen school threats reported in Connecticut this school year alone, and that's the ones we know about. Police could have investigated even more than that. Every time this happens, it's scary for parents, teachers, but especially students. That's why doctors say families should be helping their kids process their feelings. We were having a big walked down and that was so scary. Words from a first grader at Vance Elementary after her school in New Britain went on lockdown this week. It's because there was someone broke into the building we don't know and they were trying to hurt us so police came. Emotional experiences that child psychiatrists say can have a lasting mental health impact on a young developing brain. Psychologically they can they can feel traumatized and they can develop PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. And with school threats and lockdowns becoming more common in Connecticut and beyond, experts say it's important for parents to have conversations early and often. Being a parent, you have to be proactive and talking about that. So with young kids, you have to provide safe space to them. You have to encourage questions. You have to ask your kids that what did they do? What did they hear? Seek responses like this. But some just told us to stay in the corner and then... The police talked to us and said, is everybody okay? And we said yes. Ask them how they felt in the moment and how they're feeling now. They have to be reassured, validated, that it's okay to be anxious, it's okay to be scared, it's okay to be confused. And to explain the importance of school drills in having a plan. You have to reassure them that it is, uh, it's a rare thing to happen, but when it happens, it's serious. Doctors say after having this dialogue, be mindful of your child's behavior and take action if something seems off. If the kid is isolating, not stop going to school, doesn't want to go to school, feeling scared, anxious, trying to avoid places, those are the red flags to take them to a professional to see help. Police say they take every threat seriously and are determined to hold people young and old accountable. Just this week, Waterbury police announced the arrest of a 13-year-old accused of making a threat on social media. So it's why experts Brent and Sarah also say to talk to your kids about the consequences of making these school threats because they might think it's they're making a joke online, mm -hmm. they think it's funny to their friends, but police will view it as a crime. Sure. Yeah, or even mention that to their friends, right? This yes. isn't funny. No. Like, yeah. Not it's sad out. to see the fear that it's causing the younger children, sure. Especially that young. Yeah, I know. All right. Thank you, Bridget.